Today is the 3rd of September 2023. The time now is 8.34 p.m. On the way to be watching third division game, Intercity versus Aloyo Kano. It's gonna be the first time we're watching a local game of relatively high standards. And just first football match in Spain. Funny enough, there's a game going on. Yeah, I'm not really sure what game that is, but walking to the stadium right now, quite excited really get to see what the standard is like. Yes, it's not La Liga or La Liga 2, but the division in Spain should be a relatively competitive sort of level. I mean, obviously, watching the Real Madrid, the Barcelonas on TV is not the same as watching a game in, in person. So hopefully I'm gonna get some clips, some really nice stuff, get the stadium, get the atmosphere, really take it all in. That is what you said. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say you didn't say that. <laughs> Let's go. Ali, Where you at? Oh, let this man cook. Okay. Okay. Let him cook. Okay. 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 He said it everyone. Shut that down. 55 minutes into the game is still at nil-nil. Any thoughts on the game, Emmanuel? Not as I expected. Playing a lot of long balls. It's been a lot of physical. It's a lot physical than I expected. But 
The weird thing is, it's just the long balls. It's barely working and they keep playing the same thing. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree on that. I mean, the expectation coming to this, this is the third division in Spain and they are definitely not playing tiki-taka kind of football, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of long passes, very, very physical. Like, they're going at it for like most of the game. That chance creation-wise, there's not a lot happening. There's a lot interchange of interchanging of positions, in particular with Intercity. Well, with uh, Alko Yano, I think that's how you say it. Catching them a lot in transition. They did that a lot in the first half, and that's how they got their chances. But so far, nothing really too drastic, in my opinion. Hopefully, hopefully, we can finally see some goals. Still nil nil right now. Finally a goal. Really, really scrappy though. Huge deflection and everything. Don't even know who scored the goal. But hey, finally glad that there's a goal in this game. Any thoughts on the goal, Emmanuel? It was just a deflection back. Tito, any thoughts on it? It's alright. It's alright. That's true though. But hey, a goal's a goal at the end of the day. Put it on target. Today is the 4th of September 2023, the time now is 8.27am on the way to another team training session. After a long weekend, obviously the game on the Saturday didn't really go our way. Really, really not the best result during preseason, but it's definitely a learning opportunity. So today, back at the training ground, trying to put in this work, get better. Hopefully I get the green light train today from the physio. Yeah, it should be good. Really, really need to work on areas of our games that were really exposed in the last game. Definitely something that has to be worked on today. Today is a combined session. I'm going over to Cabo right now. Looking forward to it really. The rest of the day there isn't anything else on the agenda. Came back pretty late last night from a match but going to bring the energy, gonna bring the intensity that's very much needed especially after such a poor result on the weekend. Yeah, let's go. The time now is 4.51pm out in the city centre. Need to get some new boots, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about how training went today. So, obviously as per usual, dynamic warm-ups to start the session. Right after that, we got split into different groups. All the attackers went together, all the defenders went together, and all the midfielders went together. So for the attackers, we started off with some shooting drills with the first team coach, Pancho. Very, very simple drill. You just have to dribble to the middle, while the other guy, without the ball, has to run onto it and take a shot at goal. And then after we did basically a bit of a competition regarding that. After that, we went into a passing combination pattern with Craig, under 23's head coach, really working on the technical aspects of our passing and trying to get our touches sharp and really focusing on that technique. Right after that, we worked on defensive organization with Glenn, very straightforward stuff. And then after that, ended off the session with Eric working on how we can defend when pressing against the opposition. Obviously cutting off the passing lanes and whatnot. Not too bad of a session, personally for me. It's about really getting back into the flow of things. Obviously picked up an ankle injury last week. Got the clearance from the physio, the train. Felt a lot better compared to the weekend. And yeah, hopefully I can get the boots that I, I want to get. So yeah, let's go. So time now is 6.10 p.m. Unfortunately, after going to four different board shop, couldn't find any boots that really fit what I was looking for. So that's that. Right now we're on the way to the beach. Really, really nice out here. I got my boy, Emmanuel with me. 
Aquí paso. What's going on, guys? We're just we're just walking the beach. I'm just trying to show mine around the city. Uh, unfortunately, you couldn't find nothing at the, at the, at the soccer shops. Yeah, the variety were were it was decent. It was it was decent, but I just I I mean I'm I'm just looking for particular boots. I mean, if I'm gonna get new boots, I want to make sure that you know they're good quality. And I'm not just you know buying cheap boots just because I need boots right away. But it is what it is. Right now, like I said, we're walking to the beach, just chilling, just checking out the area really, because this is the first time that I've been out since I've been here. It's really really nice out here. Just gonna chill for a bit, then probably head back to the villa and get some dinner. So yeah, let's go. Training session done, the time now is 5.12 p.m. Really, really good work. Two, doing two times of the whole circuit. Obviously, upper body being one portion and lower body being the other. I got my boy right here, Ian. What's up? What's up? What do you think about the session? Uh, killer. Killer workout for real. Uh, it's good to be back in the gym though, coming off an injury. It feels good. Yeah, he's been out for, what, maybe past few days, last yeah, week? week for real. About a week, yeah, he had a quad injury, but it's good to be back. I mean, same thing. Does. Same thing with me with the ankle injury, did missing the game on the weekend, but you know, back to back training sessions Monday and today. And yeah, really, really good stuff to be honest. For real, they do feel good. So, and we you got this off day tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we uh, we got an off day tomorrow as well. Day to recover. Mm hmm. Any particular exercise that you thought which was like probably the toughest to do? Probably like going, doing like the diamond push ups. And oh, the yeah. -ups, and then going straight into like the bent over rows. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to cuss No, no, you go, you go. Right. That joint felt crazy though. So, it's yeah. something new though. Yeah, especially going back to back with some of the exercises. Like like you said, the push-ups, then after that, it went from what, bench press to push-ups, then from push-ups to the bend over yeah, rows. Yeah, no, that was tough, that, again. Man. that was tough. That and then, I think for the low body part, we were, we, for legs, we were doing like lunges with a twist. Then after that, we did lunges, like lunges with the sandbag on us. The sandbag on us. And then we did high knees right after. Dude, with the sandbag <laughs> But yeah, really, really tough session. Good stuff. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Good looking for the feature. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, gonna head to the spa right now, help with the recovery, and then dinner later. So, yeah, let's go. Today is the 6th of September 2023. The time now is 6 17 pm. Up here at the rooftop gym, gonna be doing some rehab exercises for my ankle, you know, strengthening it and whatnot. But yeah, I'm gonna put in this work, training whatsoever. So, this is the best time to go do this sort of stuff. Had this ankle injury previously back in February and now I tweaked it again. But like I said, I'm gonna strengthen up my ankles, you know, prevent, do this sort of injury prevention work. And this will really help me out. 
forward. So yeah, going to go and do it now. Then after that, I'm gonna hit this one. So yeah, let's go. Today is the 7th of September 2023. Time now is 10:12 a.m. On the way to training right now. Today is gonna be another under 23s training session. Looking forward to it. Hopefully the extra bit of work has definitely helped. My ankle's feeling a lot better today and see how it goes. So yeah, let's go. Training session done. The time now is 12:46 p.m. Just gonna give a bit of a rundown of the session. So mainly today we worked on transition. So we start off the session obviously with a bit of rondos. Bit of dynamic warm-up and then right after that we got straight into a bit of a passing pattern very basic stuff and then we went straight into a possession drill so obviously we were divided into three teams of five one team would always have possession of the ball while the other two teams would rotate in and out from defense to attack so obviously you got five players on the outside supporting three players in the middle of the team that has always will have possession of the ball so let's say yellow team has possession of the ball team will have two supporting players on the outside three in the middle and an extra five players on the outside so obviously it was ten versus five whichever team wasn't given possession of the ball for the duration of three minutes straight would always have to rotate in and out if the ball was given away they'll immediately rotate in to try and win the ball back so the second part of that drill would be that we made it a little bit smaller so we included goal posts and transitions into attack if we're the defending team let's say the black team my team we had four players so we would have four players in the middle while the opposition had three players in the middle plus two on the outside and the extra players on the outside from the other team like i said we were split off into three different teams so we had to keep possession of the ball it was nine versus four yellow and orange had to keep possession of the ball while the black team had to win the ball and transition into the into the attack so if we if the black team won the ball we would transition and try to attack and score to either goal post then after that we went into a bit of uh, attack versus defense basically the attacking team will keep passing the ball in this small area as soon as the whistle goes they have 10 seconds to try to score while the defending team has to try to prevent them from scoring obviously off the ball movements quick combinations is very very essential and you have to be quick on your feet you have to think and make decisions very very quickly so that's how we end off the session I think personally for me it was a decent session happy with my performance there were moments during the session that wasn't too good the intensity was a bit off but once we got into the flow of things i felt like we really were able to shrink past as well and we were able to transition very very quickly so right now i'm gonna wait for lunch and then in a bit we are going to be having our initiations so a lot of songs will be sang so yeah let's go I used to rule the world, 
seas would rise when I gave the word Now in the morning I sleep below Sweep the streets I used to own Great! Say hi to the camera! You should spend my nights out of Liquor was the only love I know. Today is the 8th of September 2023, the time now is 10.09am On the way to training, what's on today's agenda would be mainly just team training with the under 23s Outside of that, gonna be quite a light day, we are gonna be preparing for our pre-season friendly on the weekend It's most likely gonna be on Sunday Yesterday, couldn't really get the things that I wanted to do done But it's fine, we move Like I said, really really gonna put in this work And like I said, probably today is really gonna be just tactical work This will be good preparation for us for the game on the weekend And we can get back to winning ways So yeah, let's go Nice play, play Get it 
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you'll be updated for every Monday's episodes from Zero to Hero. And also comment things that you liked in the video, what you didn't like, what you want to include more of. Without further ado, cue the option. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win.